This wine estate outside Franschhoek has managed an impressive feat. It has gone completely off the grid thanks to the power of running water. The idea of harnessing this natural resource at Lon Marans was first conceived in 2012 and with the return of the rains in 2019, the estate is finally powered exclusively by hydroelectricity. It's green energy. It can cover the total uh, consumption of, of Lormorans and Antoine Rupert wines. And the excess energy can be wheeled into the grid and it's cost effective. The small hydro plant, which cost more than 70 million rand to build, is so effective in fact that the estate planned to sell excess energy to ESCOM. It was envisaged to be a win-win arrangement, helping the struggling utility with power generation and allowing the estate to recover some of the building costs. We can assist by generating in the peak time, the month from June to August. That's when electricity is, is really needed. But despite its best attempts, the estate says it's faced hurdle after hurdle in its quest to supply energy to the grid. Uh, the major frustrations that we've faced over the last few years is the red tape involved, the to and fro between NASA and ESKIM. Right in the beginning when we submitted our first license application, uh, our paperwork was lost. We resubmitted uh, all the files and I think the time frames and the bureaucracy that is involved is immensely frustrating, especially when we're in an energy crisis. In 2016, the estate finally managed to get its license, but after just one year, it was not renewed. And there was no clear reason why, uh, so we, we were a bit taken aback. At the same time, we've been going between Eskom and NASA, and it is just red tape involved to get all these contracts in place to be able to generate. It's not only been frustrating for the estate, but costly too. The project was supposed to pay for itself. Instead, it's left Lon Maran severely out of pocket. Yeah, we've uh, made a major investment for energy that is uh, sorely needed. And we've got a plan standing when we could have assisted uh, with putting power into the grid. It baffles one how uh, these delays have gone on when there's that necessity. Energy analyst Chris Yellen says this is not an isolated case. He says IPPs large and small are suffering due to policy uncertainty. And the lack of an integrated resource plan for electricity is the fundamental cause of all the delays. It's many, many years late and it's holding up the whole economy of South Africa and preventing uh, people from coming to the table and delivering power into the grid in a time when Eskom itself is having difficulty in meeting demand. In the meantime, he says small and nimble outfits like the Law Marans hydro plant could play a vital role in supporting Eskom, but government is making it almost impossible. There is a significant amount of uncertainty and red tape which is holding back uh, the emergence of this very exciting sector which is able to deliver quickly a significant amount of generation capacity and energy into the grid. It really uh, is negative, not only for the economy, for jobs, but it's also negative for South Africa's image as an investment destination. While new investors may be reluctant to enter into the green energy market as a result, others are desperately looking for a lifeline to stay afloat. I think it's high time that we get a streamlined system and it will draw a lot of uh, investment. There's a lot of green energy that can be generated, but we need to get our act together.